Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet this male king parrot. It's one of our Australian birds. I do have a couple of videos with the king parrots in them and I'll put a link to them in the description below. I'll be using four ply crochet cotton but you could use wool if you prefer. I've got red, green and blue for the main colours of my bird and the pink and black for the beak, brown for the branch and grey for the claws. I've got sewing thread and a sewing needle to sew it together. The white and the black are to embroider on an eye. I've got my darning needle to weave in the ends, scissors and I'll be using a 1.25mm crochet hook. Now I'll start with the top of the head there. So I've got my red and I work five chain. I miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row two I work one chain and turn. I work two single crochet into the first stitch, one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and two single crochet into the last stitch and I'll have seven single crochet. Now I will have a stitch count on my pattern on my website the details of my website are in the description below. For row 3 we work one chain and turn, work two single crochet into the first stitch and one single crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have eight single crochet. For row 4 we work 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and 2 single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 9 single crochet. For rows 5 and 6 we work 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet into each stitch. That's rows 5 and 6 and we'll have 9 single crochet. So I'll work rows 5 and 6 and I'll be back. For row 7 we work 1 chain and turn. We work 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last 2 stitches and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have eight stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 8 we work 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet into each stitch. For 
for row 9 we work 1 chain and turn, we work 2 single crochet into the first stitch and 1 single crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have 9 stitches. For row 10 we work 1 chain and turn, work 2 single crochet into the first stitch and 1 single crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 11 we work 1 chain and turn, work 2 single crochet into the first stitch and 1 single crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have 11 stitches. For row 12 we work 1 chain and turn, work 2 single crochet into the first stitch and 1 single crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have 12 stitches. For row 13 we work 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have 12 stitches. So I'll work row 13 of 1 single crochet into each stitch and I'll be back. For row 14 we work 1 chain and turn, we work 2 single crochet into the first stitch, 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and two single crochet into the last stitch. So two single crochet into the first and last stitch and one single crochet into each of the other stitches and we'll have 14 stitches. For row 15 we work 1 chain and turn, we work 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and 2 single crochet into the last stitch. For row 16 we work 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet into each stitch 
and we should have 15 stitches. For row 17 we work one chain and turn, we work a joint single crochet over the first two stitches and then one single crochet into each stitch to the end. So a joint single crochet over the first two and then one single crochet into each stitch to the end and we should have 14 stitches. For row 18 we work one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 19 we work one chain and turn, we work a joint single crochet over the first two stitches and one single crochet into each stitch to the end and we should have 13 stitches. Now rows 20 and 21 are worked the same. We work one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. That's rows 20 and 21. One chain and turn and one single crochet into each stitch to the end. And we should have 13 stitches. So I'll work rows 20 and 21 and I'll be back. For row 22 we work one chain and turn, we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and we work a joint single crochet over the last two stitches and we should have 12 stitches. For row 23 we work one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end.
for row 24 we work one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we should have 11 stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 25 we work one chain and turn, we work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and then one single crochet into each stitch to the end and we should have 10 stitches. For row 26 we work one chain and turn, we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we should have nine stitches. For row 27 we work one chain and turn, we work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end and then we should have eight stitches. For row 28 we work one chain and turn, we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have seven stitches. For row 29 we work one chain and turn, we work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches, one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have seven stitches. So a joined single crochet over the first two stitches, one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 30 we work one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch, one single crochet into each stitch to the last three stitches, and work a joined single crochet over the last three stitches and we sh should have six stitches. For row 31 we work one chain and turn, we work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches 
and then work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. And that's the body done. Now we'll do a neatening row. So we work one chain and work one single crochet into each stitch right around to our one chain at the beginning of the row. So I'll work my neatening row and I'll be back. Now I've worked my neatening row right around the bird and across the bottom and I slip stitch into the first chain and fasten off. Now I'll just weave in my end because we join our tail and work it along that bottom part so it will be easier. For the tail we work along these seven stitches at the bottom of our body so we join our cotton at the first stitch and we work three chain. We work a joined double crochet into the same stitch as our chain and the next stitch. We work one double crochet into each of the next four stitches. and then two double crochet into our last stitch and we should have seven stitches. For row two we start with three chain. We work one double crochet into each of our stitches to the last two stitches. And we work a join double crochet over the last two stitches. And we should have six stitches. For row three, we work three chain and turn. We work a join double crochet over the first two stitches. Work one double crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work two double crochet into our last stitch. And we should have six stitches. For row four, we start with three chain and turn and we work one double crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and work a join double crochet over the last two stitches. And we should have five stitches. For row five, we start with three chain and turn. We work a join double crochet over the first two stitches. One double crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and work two double crochet into the last stitch. For row six we work three chain and turn. We work one double crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and work a join double crochet over our last two stitches and we should have four stitches.
For row 7 we work 3 chain and turn. We work the join double crochet over the first 2 stitches. One double crochet in the next stitch and two double crochet in the last stitch. For row eight we work three chain and turn. We work one double crochet into each of the next two stitches and a join double crochet over our last two stitches. For row 9 we work 3 chain and turn. We work a join double crochet over the first two stitches and two double crochet into the last stitch. For row 10 we work 3 chain and turn. We work 1 double crochet in the first stitch and a join double crochet over the last 2 stitches. And for row 11 we work 3 chain and turn and work 1 double crochet into each stitch. and fasten off. And that's the body and tail finished. For the front part of the wing, this part here, we start with 15 chain We miss the first chain and we work one single crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have 14 stitches. For row 2 we work 1 chain and turn and we work 2 single crochet into the first stitch and 1 single crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have 15 stitches. For row 3 we work 1 chain and turn and we work 
one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 16 stitches. For row 4 we work 1 chain and turn, we work 2 single crochet into the first stitch and then 1 single crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have 17 stitches. For row 5 we work 1 chain and turn, we work 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and we work 2 single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 18 stitches. And now we're going to do a neatening row just along the top there and down the side. So we start with one chain and then we work one single crochet into each stitch across the top and then just down the side. We don't fasten off once we get to the side, down the side. We're going to work the bottom half of the wing. So I'll work my neatening row just across there and down the side and I'll be back. Now for the bottom part of the wing we start with 15 chain we miss the first chain and we work a slip stitch into each of the next three stitches and then work one single crochet into each stitch to the end of the chain.
Then we slip stitch into the main part of our wing and slip stitch into the next stitch and turn. Now we're going to slip stitch into each stitch on our wing up to the second last stitch. For row three, we turn and we slip stitch into each of the next three stitches. And then work a single crochet into each stitch to the last four stitches. and then work a half double crochet into each of the last four stitches. Then slip stitch into the main part of our wing and slip stitch into the next stitch and then turn and work a slip stitch into each stitch up to our second last stitch. And then we turn and slip stitch into our first three stitches. Work a single crochet into each stitch to, till our last four stitches. and work a half double crochet into each of the last four stitches. And slip stitch into the corner of our main part of the wing and fasten off. And that's the front wing done. Now I'm going to start on this back wing 
it's just tucked in behind the front wing. So on the wrong side of my bird, I join my cotton just at the neck here. And I work one chain, I work one single crochet into the same place as a chain, and then one single crochet into each of the next two stitches. I work a treble into the following stitch. and then double treble into each of the following 10 stitches. I'll have to at times work two double treble into a stitch just to keep it from pulling too much. So I'll work a double treble into this first stitch here. For a double treble, I'm putting my yarn round my hook three times. I work two double treble into this stitch here. and two double treble into this stitch. Now I work a treble into the next stitch a double crochet in the following stitch then a half double crochet a single crochet in the next stitch and a slip stitch in the following stitch and fasten off And that wing just bends over like that. I stitch it down and then I stitch the front wing over the top. Now the king parrot has an unusual beak. The bottom part is black and the top part is pink with a little bit of black on the tip. Now for the bottom part, I'll join my cotton two stitches up from the neck. So in here and I start with three chain and then work a join double crochet over the next two stitches.
and fasten off. For the top part of the beak, I've got my pinky colour and I make four chain. I miss the first two chain and work a half double crochet into each of the next two chain. For row two, you start with two chain and turn and work a joined half double crochet over both stitches. And fasten off. And that's the beak done. For the branch, using my brown, I start with six chain I miss the first two chain and work one half double crochet into each stitch to the end. For row two, I start with two chain. I work two half double crochet in the first stitch one half double crochet in the next stitch and a joined half double crochet in the last two stitches for row three I start with two chain and turn and work a joined half double crochet over the first two stitches, one half double crochet in the next stitch and two half double crochet into the following stitch. For row four I start with two chain and turn, I work two half double crochet into the first stitch, one half double crochet into the next stitch and a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches. For row five we start with two chain and turn. We work a joined half double crochet over the first two stitches one half double crochet in the next stitch and two half double crochet in the following stitch. For row six we start with two chain and turn, work two half double crochet into the first stitch, one half double crochet into the next stitch and a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches. For row seven, we start with two chain and turn. We work a joined half double crochet over the first two stitches. One half double crochet into the next stitch and two half double crochet into the last stitch. For row eight, we start with two chain and turn. We work two half double crochet into the first stitch, one half double crochet into the next stitch and a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches. For row 9 we start with 2 chain and turn, 
we work two half double crochet into the first stitch, one half double crochet into the next stitch, and a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches. For row 10 we start with two chain and turn. We work a joined half double crochet over the first two stitches, one half double crochet into the next stitch and two half double crochet into the last stitch. For row 11 we start with two chain and turn. We work two half double crochet into the first stitch, one half double crochet into the next stitch and a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches. For row 12 we start with 2 chain and turn, we work a joined half double crochet over the first 2 stitches, 1 half double crochet into the next stitch and 2 half double crochet into the last stitch. For row 13 we start with 2 chain and turn, we work 2 half double crochet into the first stitch, one half double crochet into the next stitch and a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches. For row 14 we start with two chain and turn. We work a joined half double crochet over the first two stitches, one half double crochet into the next stitch and two half double crochet into the last stitch. For row 15 we start with two chain and turn. We work two half double crochet into the first stitch, one half double crochet into the next stitch and a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches. And for row 16 we start with two chain and turn. We work a joined half double crochet over our first two stitches, one half double crochet in the next stitch and two half double crochet into the last stitch. And fasten off. And that's the branch done. Now I'll just weave in the endings for my bird to make it easier to put the claws on and I'll be back. Now for this front claw we join our cotton three stitches up from the tail. In here and start with seven chain We miss the first two chain and then slip stitch in the next three chain. And that's the first bit of the claw done. For the second bit we make six chain we miss the first two chain and slip stitch in the next four
and then we slip stitch in that cha same chain as at the last slip stitch from the first part of the claw. Just in like that. And then we work five chain. We miss the first two chain and slip stitch into each of the next three chain. And then slip stitch into that same stitch as we slip stitched after the first and the second part of the claw and then we work one single crochet into each of the two stitches down to the body. And then slip stitch into the body and fasten off. And that's the first claw done. Now we join our cotton in the fifth stitch up from our first claw. And we work five chain. We miss the first two chain and we slip stitch into each chain down to the body. And slip stitch into the same stitch on the body. And then we work six chain. We miss the first two chain and we work a slip stitch into each stitch down to the body. and slip stitch into the same stitch on the body. And then we work four chain. Miss the first two chain and slip stitch into each stitch down to the body. And slip stitch into the body and fasten off. And that's the feet and claws done. So I'll just weave in the rest of my ends and I'll be back and we'll put it together. Now the first things I'll do is stitch this wing down I'll just push it down and then put a line of stitching just down around there. I don't want any red showing around the side if possible. And I'll attach the top part of the beak. I'll pinch it in a bit and then attach it over the top just in like that. The next thing I'll do is attach the front wing. The corner of the front wing goes just at that little bit of a slope there and you stitch it in and around so that it pokes 
of the back of the tail like that and I'll also embroider on the eye. Now I attach the branch to the bird. The top part goes under the body and the bottom part goes under the tail. In like that. So I'll stitch that on and I'll be back and show you the finished bird. And there's the finished king parrot. If you like my video please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below, along with the details of my website. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.